In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about scamming in the last days. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the current trend, especially on YouTube, is people trying to sell you business seminars, uh, business books, and things like that. When a fact of the matter is, a lot of these people don't even run or operate a business. But what they're operating off of is deception. Man, they have this this feng shui they have this appearance they know the lingo they know how to talk to you and then at the end of what they're pitching to you they're telling you like uh you know they're making it seem like a janitor that works at a school by just you know with his experience in mopping and cleaning overnight within like a year will be able to turn that into a million dollar business and then what they're going to do is they're going to uh plug in their seminar, buy tickets to my seminar, my program. Right now, we're running an exclusive discount. Get your ticket before, you know, they run out. Buy my book, my series. That's what they're doing. And it was the guy, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I think his name is Robert Nawasaki. He said when he was in college, what made him drop out was he asked his business profession. He was business. He was majoring in business. And he asked his business professor, how many businesses have you ran? And his professor said, I don't, I've never ran a business. I've never owned a business, you know, never operated a small business. I just teach uh, business as a major. So that was the moment where he said, man, I dropped out because I'm learning from somebody that hasn't even walked through it. And I would tell you to be cautious because even when you're looking at faith-based, uh, faith-based videos on YouTube, Man, there's advertisements where these people are pretty much trying to insert uh, the worship of mammon into you growing your ministries, and that's what they lead with. You got to watch some of these videos, man, because people will say, uh, you know, is, is your ministry struggling? Is your ministry not turning a profit that you want? You know, you, you sign up for our 12-week program, and then we will get your, your ministry to a, a you know, uh, a seven figure or eight figure ministry. And I'm like, what? You have to watch out because these people are trying to sell you products, trying to make it look like they're successful. And there's a lot of deception and stuff like that. I'll tell you, man, I work a full time job, uh, work 40, 50 hours a week in the military and then get home and then go to work again. Like today is a normal Thursday and I get off work and then go to work again for about two to three hours to maintain the business. My wife, my ish, runs this thing during the day. Sometimes I come home during lunch to help out, depending on how much of a break I have. But I'm not on here to, 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 to doggone uh, lead anybody astray and, and tell you to buy this book and this is the, the key to success. Honestly, when the word says be a doer of the word, man, you have these visions, you have these ideas. At what point are you going to quit buying all these books, gathering all this knowledge, but never executing so that way you can have some real boots on the ground experience. Like I said, man, we're in the dog boarding and daycare business, but this is not a million dollar. You see what I'm saying? Now, if we expanded our facility and stuff like that over due time, you could probably probably turn about, I want to say at most, if I if I had maybe about 50, 60 kennels, you know, I probably could turn uh I probably could turn about 400, 500,000 uh you know, in profit. But right now, man, we got, you got 14 kennels that we operate and there's, there is in business, man, it's like a roller coaster. You know, there's, 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 there's low moments and there's high moments. And this right here basically was a concept. So I could get my family away from the system and we would be able to uh, work in line with the work days, uh, biblical work days, be able to rest on the Sabbath, be able to honor the most high Yah's feast days and things like that. The goal was never to, to, to be a millionaire and be like, man, you know, I got this Lamborghini off of buying this book and this book changed my life. That was never the goal. 
you know, the goal was to be able to uh, provide for ourselves away from the system, be able to produce or provide a service. And then later on, my kids down the line, man, they'll have a running business that's been refined over years to start working and to grow and expand it. They potentially could even franchise it if they want. You see what I'm saying? But that's the whole goal. So beware of these people trying to sell you these uh, these books and these seminars and these tickets and all of this. And oftentimes, a lot of these guys don't even run business. There's a lot of people getting caught up with these scams, PPP loans. You're looking at uh, a lot of these truck drivers you see on YouTube. Uh, some of the one, yeah, there's a there's a, a slew of female truck drivers that are getting caught up scamming or facing indictment because they're they're doing illegitimate business, deceiving people, and they don't have the receipts to back up, uh, you know, some of the stuff that they're getting charged with. And the word says, "By their fruit you shall know them." I'll tell you, man, running a business is a grind. Is it worth it? Heck yeah. Knowing that if something happens to my job in the system, I've got something in place to take care of my family and to continue to put food on the table. Heck yeah, that's worth it. Heck yeah, that's worth it. And I tell you, man, all the days where I was getting off work, playing Call of Duty, sitting around, drinking, drinking beer, and, 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 and you know, uh, wasting my life away, I wasn't just having back then, I wasn't just having one or two beers. No, I was trying to get buzzed, trying to get drunk every night. It was a waste of time. That was a waste of time. And when I started uh, reading in the Word, man, work six days, rest on the Sabbath, I say, man, I ain't working enough. I'm not working enough. But I just wanted to share that with you, man, and talk to you about scamming in the last days. You the, it, Buying some of these people's seminar and all of this stuff, it's just regurgitated information. Rather than buying somebody's seminar, I would tell you this, man, spend that $100 or whatever amount of money that they want you to spend on their book, their product, or their strategy, you know, uh, their training program. I would tell you to spend that money on at least starting up your LLC. You see, I'm at a, at a minimum. And if you don't want to do that, okay, come up with a DBA that you can operate under your legal name and then doing business as, and then whatever your service or your product that you're going to doggone uh, pretty much provide, man, start figuring out a plan and move forward. There's only so much. You have people, when you think about this, you have people, this is like the Pharisees. The Pharisees were highly religious. They had a lot of knowledge, but they didn't have wisdom. They didn't have understanding. They were in the business of teaching. They weren't the one living out the word in righteousness. You see what I'm saying? And this is how you know we're going to have a lot of scammers in the last days. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Pow.